everyone welcome back to my channel it's christy here to do the extended monthly forecast for sagittarius sun moon and rising this is for the month of june 2018 this is a general reading for your sign so whatever is most prominent in your life i encourage you to take these messages and apply them to and i hope that you find them helpful in healing so these are general messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for June 2018. What does Sagittarius need to know for June 2018? I am doing a different reading uh, spread today. I'm doing a Secrets Revealed reading today. It's an eight card spread. We will use the bottom of the deck uh, for general energy for the month, but the bulk of the messages will be coming from the eight cards. And then as always, I'll draw an additional card uh, for a message for you from the Oracle decks here. What does Sagittarius need to know for June 2018? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising. All right. I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed and liked and shared my videos. Thank you so much for your encouragement and your support. So at the bottom of the deck, wow, uh, we have the Nine of Swords. This is basically stating for the month of June that you may uh, be stressed out, stressing yourself out. We're going to see why shortly with the eight cards that come up. Um, the first four cards are going to speak to what is evident to you, what is probably already obvious or evident to you. And then the bottom row is what we're going to be looking at is what mystery needs to be revealed about these circumstances. How can we combat any upsetting or um, uh, you know, energy that you don't want in your field for the month? So again, Nine of Swords, I really haven't seen you you know, mentally or intellectually troubled by anything for a good year, Sagittarius. So maybe it's just something that's cropping up from the past, something that you're ready and able to concern yourself with this month. But yeah, it looks like June um, is going to be, you know, getting out of your own head, maybe problem solving here. But this is a lot of internal torment, okay? Something that's, you know, you're trapped by. Um, not so much as the eight of swords, you know, feeling trapped, but not really being trapped. This is like, this is keeping you up at night. Okay. So mm, just by looking at this before looking at any other cards, I can really tell you from the outset, you know, it might be a good month for you to convey your fears to somebody that you trust right now, um, to help lighten that load. Let's get your eight cards out. I also want to mention that there's construction behind me. So if you hear that or some hammering, etc. It's not your imagination. There is a lot of construction uh, this week, probably for the next month. So hopefully it'll be over by the time I get to July's reading. <laughs> All right, here's your uh, eight cards. You end on such a beautiful note here. Uh, you know, I can't express enough for you to um, you know, you only have one more, two, sorry, two more um, swords cards. Um, there's a lot of relief coming your way. I see you maybe taking action here. I'm just getting a snapshot of what's going on here. You know, taking action around something that um, is tying up your mind or keeping you feeling stuck or maybe concerned or worried, that type of thing, or something having to do with you know, a choice to make here, a direction necessarily on an emotional level, an emotional, um, like you have a lot of options here and, um, I can't help but think, you know, sober, sober keeps coming up. Like it might be a nice time for you to maybe face something in a sober way, face something that's been concerning you or worrying you somehow in a sober fashion, um, just because there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of options um, on an emotional you know, front here can create a feeling of confusion, right? So, but there's a lot of opportunity 
and I'm going to suggest that action is your best friend this month and then you know your outcome here is um, even after some conflict, you do have a five, you've got uh, a six, a seven, a couple of aces. Um, you really have to walk yourself through something right now. You're going from five to a six to a seven on an emotional level. So you can grow here. Um, very briefly, you know, fives are about conflict or adversity. Sixes are about balance, of course. And then seven is not only magic, but it's about options. It's about... Um, um, assessing where you are so it's a really nice month I'm going to suggest as well for you to get out of your head share your concerns uh, problems worries even grief um, fears if I already hadn't said that uh, with a trusted person and I think that you'll more easily walk away from something um, that doesn't serve you any longer even if it's a mind frame or a mindset it doesn't have to be a relationship or a job uh, we do only have one pentacle here, uh, sorry, one pentacle suit here. So I don't really think that this has to do necessarily with your uh, work environment, um, unless it is your work environment and it has to do with your emotional, um, uh, you know, feelings or the way that you feel emotionally within the work environment. Again, it is a general reading. So just use to your advantage, whatever is going on in your environment. And then we have some more uh, cards having to do with the mind. Uh, and then some action cards here. Right? And then this glorious sun at the end of it. So, you know, and I, and I think as a trump card, right? Like as a major arcana, uh, and I'm learning this through other tarot readers as well. It's like, if you do have any upsetting cards um, in the environment and... You know, again, I would suggest that the bottom of the deck energy being the nine of swords, you know, that's a not a comfortable energy, right? The page of wands isn't necessarily a comfortable energy either. Um, seven of cups may not even be comfortable, for example. Um, nothing else really would be uncomfortable. I think that the sun, right? Like if you have sun or judgment or even the star, uh, and really pretty much outside of, you know, the tower and the devil, for example, like, and even those can be very uh, effective depending on what else is around you. But because this reading features the sun for you as a major arcana, I'm going to suggest that the nine of swords is something that you can easily overcome. I, th I just think by and large, you're going to have to face something that you've been putting aside and you're going to have to do it in a sober way. I don't mean that you have to... Um, it doesn't look like there's addictions problems here. That's not what I'm talking about. It just looks like you have to, you know, decide to confront something and it could be like, this is what's, this is what suggests to me, for example, that you're sort of looking for a way out and away from it. And it's almost like you can only run from this so long type thing. And Sagittarius.